Hi guys and welcome back to the AM Crypto channel today from the beautiful Medellin here in Colombia. I will meet you uh, later with the president. Look at the time. Here it is now almost 7 in the morning. It's 6.30 so and I still wanted to come out quick to make a video for you guys and give you a quick update what's happening here with Bitcoin because the last couple of hours we have finally seen here some life science in the Bitcoin chart and I definitely want to directly dive into this before I have to go. I actually have to go in 20 minutes so I will be quick here and don't forget if you're new to the channel please subscribe and um, also activate the notification bell so that you will never miss out these important updates, especially tomorrow ones when I have interview with the president of Colombia for you guys. So here on the Bitcoin 12 hourly chart, uh, I have found here in falling wedge pattern within our ascending channel or bear flag. So and that could technically invalidate the bear flag scenario if this breaks here to the upside because the target would be all the way up here at $49,340 approximately. So and I firmly believe if we reach this target, we will break through the um, upper resistance of this ascending channel um, or this bear flag, uh, settle above this and then go in direction of $50,000. So the next couple of hours are really crucial here for, for Bitcoin to uh, see in which direction we will break out here. So, but we are already testing the upper end of um, this downward sloping resistance line here on this uh, falling wedge. And also the stochastic RSI is highly, highly bullish. We got here a W formation on the stochastic RSI and uh, broke this to the upside. So also we got a clear buy signal because of this push here to the upside. So, and that shows us that there is way, way more momentum here to go to the upside in the immediate short term for the Bitcoin price. So my initial target will be here, this dotted line in this ascending channel around $45,000 on the 12 hourly chart. So where would I be opening now a long position if I wanted to trade this? So the safest place for me to open a long position here based on this 12 hourly chart would be here once we are breaking above this upward sloping support which is now resistance and the downward sloping resistance of this falling wedge so at let's say here at forty thousand five hundred dollars there i would open a long position so there on this dotted line so i just pull this a little bit lower so here yeah there you go forty thousand four hundred eighty that's where I open, uh, would open a long position. So if I would open here a long position, uh, sorry guys, so then you see here the target would be $45,000. So, and then I put a stop loss kind of like here. So that gives us a, ra a risk to reward ratio of 2.5, which is not all, um, really that bad. So if we are going up here, uh, we can make it 10.8%. So with the 10x leverage, that's over 100% that you can make here in the next, let's say, potential three days. So and if you want to take this trade, guys, then don't forget that you can go to Bybit. There you still get uh, $4,050 in free bonuses and 0% on a maker fees. So if you set a limit order and try to catch the, uh, the price while it's dipping to get into the trade, then you pay 0% for the next 30 days with my specific link here. Or you go to Femex, there you still get $4,100 in bonuses also with my specific link here. And I can tell you guys, um, once we are breaking uh, here out, uh, out of both ranges, and above $40,500, I will open a crazy, crazy big long position, but I will uh, this then also show potentially tomorrow, um, or I will uh, show you guys it on my Twitter account so that in real time, so that you can actually also directly jump into this trade with me. So when we are looking here now on the lower time frames, there we can also clearly see that Bitcoin uh, broke here above this downward sloping support here. Um, and we were not breaking all the way down to the yeah basically the sand, the line in the sand so which was uh, which is still here around thirty six thousand four hundred dollars so and also here we can see that Bitcoin is potentially creating a new W pattern so once here again you see if we are getting here around forty thousand 
$600, $700 uh, move from Bitcoin to the upside. Then we have a W pattern that's playing out here on the four hourly chart and that will bring the Bitcoin price with that with that pattern already to $43,400. So you see there's already a lot of uh, things lining up here once again to the bullish side. We have also a, uh, a bullish divergence on the daily chart. Let me also show you this guys. And then I will also get into some other coins. So here you see in the downwards trending line and then we are still maintaining here this higher low trajectory. So here along this line. So there is a clear bullish divergence. And um, I think with the break of this falling wedge, we will see this bullish divergence playing out for the Bitcoin price. So now let's get here quick into Ethereum. So because also Ethereum is Wing out here on the four hourly chart, as we can see here, so this looks really similar to Bitcoin. And here the uh, immediate short term target is around $3,131. So here along this bl uh, blue dashed line. So that will be the immediate short term target. So once we are breaking above $2,960, there you can open an also long position to the upside. So and I would most likely only take partial profits here and write the rest up to the upside just in case that we push here higher which will be most likely the case if this bullish divergence and this um, ascending triangle is playing out on the bitcoin chart it was it will obviously um, boost a lot of the altcoins and also ethereum to the upside i also wanted to go quick here into gmt um, because gmt is here on a crazy run right now so um we have here already broken this bull flag to the upside on GMT on the one hourly chart. So and the next target here for GMT is all the way up at $4.50. So it would be not too late to get into this trade right now. Uh, you could still catch um, more or less 10% 10, 10 here in this trade uh, if you would get into this. So there, there you go. So it's um, a total of 60%, but from the price where it is now, it's 12% that you can still um, make in the immediate short term. I actually believe that GMT will go here in the immediate short term to around $5 or even higher. It, it could technically go to around $10. A stop loss I would place here around, um, yeah, here looks good at $3.80. So I would maybe not use leverage on this trade. Um, or if you would use leverage, don't use more than two to three X because icons are highly volatile and we don't want to get liquidated here. So if you use here like 10 X, 20 X, then with um, this stop loss, you would risk to get liquidated or lose half of your position. And we want to make sure that we are profitable here. So uh, please only use two to three X if you want to trade this with leverage. Guys, that's already for today. I have to wrap it up because I have to go to meet the president of Colombia. I hope you enjoyed this ep episode. Thank you so much much for watching or once again please smash up the like button hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell and i will see you again tomorrow